Hello, my name's Steve from Stead Sticks Fix, uh, and in this video today, I'm going to revisit this Amazon Echo Dot. Now, this I bought off eBay. Uh, it sold as faulty. Uh, I I repaired it. It was actually the power supply that was faulty. Um, but it turns out that it was blacklisted by Amazon because it had been reported as lost or stolen or whatever the story was. Uh, in a nutshell, it didn't work. It wouldn't let me activate it. It wouldn't let me register my Amazon account to it. So it's pointless. You can't do anything with it. You cannot play music through it. All you get is uh, is Alexa talking to you and, and being annoying. So I thought, what what can I do with it? And one of um, one of the comments on my previous video. Mick Nelson uh, suggested that I could turn it into a Google Home or into a Bluetooth speaker. So I thought I'd have a look at both of those options. The Google Home is a little bit complicated. need a, a Raspberry Pi Zero. And inside here, I've had a look and it's very, very tight. There isn't a lot of room at all. So I, went, I, I thought I'd go down the Bluetooth speaker option. So I've been shopping online. And I bought a couple of uh, couple of things. Now this thing here is a Bluetooth amplifier board with a three and a half mil input jack as well. And this here is a power supply board. Now this will uh, enable me to make this portable. So I, I didn't want it to just be plugged in and used. I wanted I wanted to add it. I wanted to add a battery, so that you could use it as a portable device. Now obviously the the Echo Dot as it is is not portable. It's always plugged in. So this will charge the battery and it will also make sure that it um, you know it's not it's not dangerous. It'll it'll monitor it and it'll also output the power to the amplifier board. As you can see, these things are tiny, um, which they've got to be. I mean, you can get bigger and better ones of these, but they just aren't going to fit. Um, so I'm going to try, and I mean, I've never done this before. I've got, if I'm honest, I don't really know how to do it. But those two things, the battery and an input, surely that's all you need, right? <laughs> so I'm going to, I'm going to see, see if I see what I can do. I'm going to take it apart, have a look how much space there is, rip out the old board burn it, set, I don't know, throw it away um, and then and then take it from there so it's a T6 screwdriver and that just lifts off and you can see there's the insides so the the speaker is actually very very small inside here and there's sort of chambers that run through which are made out of sort of this metal and plastic combination which I presume pushes the sound out to give it a little bit of bass you know and, and make it sound good because it's a tiny tiny speaker now this is the brains of it all here I say brains uh, <laughs> I say it very loosely um, I'm just going to undo these screws here and, and remove this part if I can there's also a little ribbon connector here. That's the main board out. And we can just throw that away. I am just going to remove the top piece. So if I can you know, cut this sort of here, find out which are the, the um, positive and negative attach it there then I can just solder that you know I can just solder the two wires onto the um, onto the board negative positive plus it's also got a hole at this side that I can use for the three and a half mil so I think that hole's slightly too small but I can obviously make it bigger with a with the right size drill bit and then the idea is just to push this um, this through from the other side and it's got a little ridge on it so I'm hoping it'll just sit nicely in there tell you what I'm making a mess though 
I've just realised that this does pop out. It didn't look like it did, it looked like one moulded piece. There we go. But well, I'm happy. I didn't think I'd be able to do that so neatly. Go. Look at that. I need to make sure I give myself enough room, so I'll cut it quite long for now. I can always trim some off. There we go, it's done. No going back now. Black is ground, red is uh, 5, five volts uh, DC power, so I'll snip these other ones off because I don't need them for now. That in, stand well back. Oh, we got a red light. Safety first. <laughs> Safety first. So we've got power going in, and then we've got the battery connected up here, which is then outputting to this board. And if I disconnect the power, we still have power because it's running off the battery. Let's see if I can get some sound out of this before I put it all together. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's see if it connects. Okay, we've got a solid blue light. It definitely works. I'm cutting away some more of this area. Just to make sure that these wires had enough room, I've also trimmed back both of these. I mean it looks scruffy but you ain't going to see it. So it's, I've just removed the top bit and then this bit here and there should be plenty of room now. Under here there is enough room so we've got room for the battery um, we've got room yeah and get that in there as well. The power board here it's got two LEDs on it now if I put it position it sort of here then when those LEDs light up I'm going to see it here I'm going to see it through there Okay, we're uh, all the wiring's in place now. As you can see, the blue light has come on, and it's not plugged in, which means that it's getting power. Now, I think it's probably going to get power all the time. Probably should have put a switch in somewhere. Okay, so we're back together. Let's, um, let's try and plug it in. Let's see if we got a charging light. Yes, we do. Okay, so let's try and connect my phone up. Let's see if we got Bluetooth connection. Yes, we do. Connected for audio. And there we go.
what I want to do is I want to add a switch to it so that it's not on all the time, you know, an on off switch. And I also like to add an LED to probably this this one here so that we can see when the amplifier is on. The three and a half mil jack wasn't um, wasn't working anyway, I'm not sure whether I mentioned. As soon as you plug the uh, extension lead into, into the board, it assumes that you've got something plugged in so the Bluetooth doesn't work. So it's, I mean, to be honest, I'm, I'm never gonna use it anyway. It was just, you know, to fill this hole here and make it look nice. But I'm gonna have to try and put the switch in. It doesn't look as pretty as it did before, but it works. Device is ready to power. Uh, we've replaced the three and a half mil jack on the back with the power switch, so now I can switch it on and off. Don't have to worry about the battery draining. Uh, we've also got. Uh, the USB power, so we plug that in, and then we've got the red light to indicate that the power is on, the battery is charging, and then we've also got a switch, blue light. And it's connected straight up to my phone, which is great. So let's just give it a little bit of a final test. And there we go. I mean, the sound quality isn't, it's okay. It's not bad. There's, there's not a great deal of depth to it. There's not a lot of bass. Uh, but then I don't think there would be out of such a small speaker anyway. Uh, the amplifier board could perhaps be a bit more powerful, but in such a small form factor, that's probably the best you're gonna get. Um, so I'm really pleased with that. You know, I think it's come out. It's come out quite nice. If you were to look at it at first glance, it just looks like an Echo Dot, but you can unplug it. It's now portable. Take it around with you. Take it to the park. Do whatever you want. I'm quite pleased with that, and it didn't cost. It cost a lot of money at all. You know, the Bluetooth amplifier board was. It, was, it wasn't even two quid. I don't think. Got it from China. It came from China. Um, and then the power board, likewise, one, two pounds, and the battery was the same, it might have been three, probably spent about five quid in total, and I've got a nice portable Bluetooth speaker out of it. Much better than throwing it in the bin as Amazon wanted me to do, so, up yours Amazon. Okay, well, that's about it, so, thanks very much for watching, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe for more Can I Fix It and how-to videos. Thank you. Take care. Cheerio.